Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at this new Whoop from Beta FPV. This is the Meteor 75. Now you're probably looking at this thinking, oh, it's another Whoop. You know, Lee's looked at loads of these on the channel. This one I've got in because it's a little different. Now I looked at the walk snail system. I did my first video on it a couple of weeks ago now, and this is the first ready to fly model that I've got in that has walk snail installed. Yep, this is a little 1S whoop that has a walk snail 1S VTX unit at the top, so you can fly around and get full HD in your walk snail goggles. Not only that, it's also available with a HD zero installation as well. Now, being able to get hold of ready-to-fly models is one of the key things that needs to happen in order for a HD system to become entrenched and part of the hobby. So I'm really excited that this quad is available with both of those non-DGI HD systems on it. So while I unbox it, let's talk about the specs. So again, this is the Meteor 75 Brushless Whoop uh, 1S HD Digital VTX. Flight time, they claim about three and a half minutes with HD zero and about three minutes with walk snail. However, I've got close to three minutes flying here. The camera angle is adjustable from zero to 45 degrees. This is not a speed machine, so I would recommend keeping the camera pretty flat. The motors are 1102 18,000 kV brushless motors, and the battery is a BT 2.0 connector, 450 milliamp 1S 30C battery. The frame is a Meteor Micro brushless whoop frame, and there are additional canopies available as well with lots of room inside to get all the pieces. The propellers are 40 millimeter, three bladed props with a 1.5 millimeter shaft and the weight without battery, it claims about 40.5 grams. Let me insert here exactly what mine was and about 36.4 grams for HD zero. So this is way, way under a 250 gram limit, if that's important to you. Receiver types available. I've got the one with Express LRS in here. It's also got SPI FreeSky and a TBS receiver as well. I wouldn't recommend the ELRS one unless you're happy just pootling around the house. The flight controller in ESC is an F41S 5 amp flight controller that sits at the bottom of this. It looks like a cross. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. And it has Express LRS version 2.0 on here bound to my radio running express lrs 2.2 with no problems at all and in this one here with the walk snail system this is the avatar mini hd vtx uh, which is at the top so if i crack open the model and just show you the two different pieces here it is inside we have the all-in-one board at the bottom that looks like an X, very cute looking flight controller. I really like the design of this. And then above it, we have the single board for the walk snail system for the 1S capable HD stuff. In terms of the setup, I'm not going to go through much of this. It's pretty standard stuff. It ha has to use a very modern version of Betaflight to support the gyro that's part of the flight controller. I will put links to dump and diff down below. So if you want to go and have a look, those files are available for you. Only two tips here uh, to get it into ELRS binding mode. There isn't a binding button on here and there's no binding option within Betaflight itself. What you have to do is quickly power the model three times in quick rapid succession and that will put the ELRS system into buy mode. And you'll see the little green light LED at the bottom flash twice and keep flashing twice and that tells you it's ready to go. In terms of connecting to the watch snail goggles, there is on the side of the 1S unit a little bind button. So just power it up Press the bind button on your goggles, press your bind button on the 1S and it'll connect and away you go. In terms of flying, there's nothing really to write home about here. The footage I'm showing you is from the walk snail DVR directly in the goggles. Not a lot of power here, it's hovering about 50% throttle. This is definitely made to be a 1S cruiser to look at the world in glorious HD. Very, very smooth flying and the image is lovely. I'm using version 27.32.10 beta firmware on my walk snow goggles in this video. Noise from the whoop is very low. Once it's about 10 feet away from you, you can hardly hear the thing. Endurance is poor though, with only a few minutes flight time. I'm struggling to get over two minutes here without getting some really alarming low voltage 
issues on the quad. And I've also struggled with range as well with the inbuilt ELRS receiver, anything more than about 50 meters away, and I'm starting to hit problems with reception. I like the fact with this little quad that you get everything you need in the box. You have the batteries, the charger, spare props, all kinds of goodness. So when you buy it, it is relatively expensive. You get all the stuff you're going to need to fly and to stay flying. And the build is very nice. That all-in-one flight controller and the way it's designed and the way it's put together with additional pieces you can put around the canopy to protect the walk snow unit is really well thought through. For me, I would like a few more minutes flight time out of this class of WHOOP. Under three minutes is a very short amount of time, and it means that you don't get a lot of time between battery charges. The other thing to mention is the issues I was having with range have been addressed. I don't think I'm the only reviewer that fed back to Beta FPV that there were range issues with the inbuilt ELRS receiver antenna. That's the one that you can see here in the image that's a little red box. Now they've changed that to be a 31 millimeter meter piece of wire classic antenna which should address some of those issues so props to beta fpv for addressing that so the version if you go and buy one of these the flight controller will look very slightly different but what really gets me excited as i mentioned at the beginning of the video isn't about the whoop itself is the fact that it's available with ready to fly with hd zero or walk snail and that's a great sign for those of us who like to fly non-dgi hd systems Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.